Good morning and happy Monday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is looking very beautiful out here in these Atlanta streets. And you know what? I am so excited. Like there is some transitioning going on in my life and transition doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It could be a great thing. And today it is one of those great things. Not only that, uh, today marks the solar eclipse, like there's a solar eclipse happening. And I've been seeing a lot of things online about this solar eclipse and like you can call some of it some con conspiracy theories, um, just a lot of different things. But I am coming on here to tell you that the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. And not only is the earth the Lord's, but he literally spoke the moon and the sun into existence. So there is nothing that can harness this power except for God. Like God is the one that created the heavens and the earth and the sun and the moon. He's the one that spoke rain into existence he is he is the creator he is the creator of the universe and the galaxies that is still expanding today and so despite what people are saying online there is a lot of different things going on on the news online surrounding this solar eclipse i am coming to set a reminder that he has the whole world in his hands the Lord has the whole world in his hands. And you know what that means? That means he cares about every aspect. He's such a detailed God. Like sometimes I marvel at the trees and I look at how the trees can only grow to a certain feet. Like if you've ever paid attention, you'll notice that the trees only grow and they all grow to the same height in a certain area now there are trees that grow uh taller than others depending on the location but even um like let's just say a rainforest i noticed that like they have like very tall like these amazon trees right but even those trees they only grow to a certain height and so um that's one of the beauties of God. Another thing that I marvel at is how, like, you know how we everybody's having these allergies for because it's pollen season, right? Well, it's the pollen that causes the flowers to bloom. Like, he's so intricate in detail. Like, God is so intricate in detail. So where am I leading at with this? Know that if God is causing a solar eclipse, eclipse it is for a reason because he is just that intricate in detail it has nothing to do with satan it has nothing to do with whatever people are saying but know that because god is the creator of all things he created all things and he's so intricate in detail with his creation that the solar eclipse is something that God is allowing and God is doing despite what people are saying on the internet so today on this motivational Monday because you guys know how I am I love the motivational Mondays uh, I love Mondays it's a great reset for the week I want to motivate you today and let you know that Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Shalom has it all literally in his hands even down to this solar eclipse that is happening today that is like big when you think about it like he's so detailed so amazing so marvelous and does everything in such a decency and order where he has created the four seasons we have summer falls uh, sp uh spring winter and all the seasons are for a reason we have the rain and the snow and we have the sun and the moon all of that is God's creation all of it and so this solar eclipse in my eyes in my mind is just another 
awe moment of what God is doing because he holds it all in his hand. He is so amazing. So remember that as you go throughout that day, go throughout today, some of you may be able to look and view the solar eclipse. Okay. Um, but as you go throughout your day, know that there is a God that sits high and looks low. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's footstool. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's footstool. He is sitting high. He is looking low and he is orchestrating all of this. And I am just in awe and I'm marveling at his, at his works today. So keep that in mind. Like God got you. He cares about all the details, even in your little life. And here's another thing, a God that's so big that can cause the solar eclipse can handle your debt. A God that's so big that can cause a solar eclipse can handle whatever problem you are dealing with today whatever issue you are dealing with today because he cares about every piece every piece of your life every detail of your life so with that said i want you guys to have an amazing day today an amazing week let god work out whatever situation that you are going through in your life today because guess what he's a big god and he can handle it and I promise you, that situation is a lot smaller to God than what you think. So, I love you guys. You guys have an amazing, amazing Monday. Go marvel at the Lord today. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.